Hello Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, we will be creating some front porch home decor pieces made with items from the Dollar Tree and inexpensive accent wood pieces. Now these projects feature a solid wood lantern and a two tier half barrel planters and when displayed together they make a beautiful accent piece set that would be perfect to place at your home's entryway. Now as always, all of the projects I create have a complete supply list in the description box so you can easily use it for reference as you gather up your supplies. Now before we start I have to say hey hey to all of my subscribers and if you're a new visitor to my channel today I hope you consider subscribing as well and stick around to enjoy these crafts and all of the ways that I'll show you how to style these in your space so now let's jump right into the projects now this project is a tall wood porch lantern now we're gonna need some tumbling tower blocks for the Dollar Tree now you also can use a thick scrap of wood as well instead we're also going to need four wood plant stakes, and these were for do from Dollar General. They're only a dollar, and if you go to the garden section in Dollar General, you should see these in a big box labeled one dollar. Now, if you can't find them at Dollar General, you can get them from any plant and garden center. So we're gonna start with the tumbling tower block version. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna bring out a nine blocks and I'm gonna place them in a row. And what I wanna do is glue these together. Now I do want three sets of the nine blocks and then I'm going to push them all together to make one solid square. Now this will be the size of the base of our lantern, which measures six by six. And what we want to do is we are gonna glue these all together. So this will end up being 27 blocks and we wanna glue them with wood glue. Since this is an item that can be used outdoors, we definitely wanna use wood glue to make sure that this is very stable and it will be resistant to the weather. So here is one of those blocks all glued together with the wood glue and we want to continue until we make four of these. So now here are all of our pieces all now glued together and what we're going to do is double stack them. Now when you double stack them you want to flip the um, the order in which they're going as shown here. So the blocks will kind of crisscross and this actually kind of reinforces that adhesion for those two layers. So what you wanna do is to take your wood glue, you wanna apply a generous amount on top, squeeze them together until you have one solid plank and this will be nice and thick for the bottom and top bases. And once you do that for both, you have both of those bases done and we're ready to move on to the next step. Now, if you don't wanna use blocks and you wanna use a solid piece of wood, you can cut this uh, by six by six or larger according to your preference and you do wanna make two pieces. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take some additional tumbling tower blocks and we're gonna work on the topper. So the first part of the topper has four blocks and we're gonna glue these all together with some wood glue. And once you have that four piece base, we are gonna take four pieces at the top and four pieces at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is stand these up on each side of that four block set. Now we are going to wood glue these in place until they look like this. And this will be the decorative topper piece that will be our base. Now to top it off, you can use something something as simple as a shower curtain ring and you can get these from Dollar Tree. Now I just cut off the little snap portion and you can just glue it right on top. You just wanna make sure you use a strong adhesive such as E6000. Now, if you don't want to use the shower curtain ring, what I like to use are these wood finials, and you could get these from Lowe's. They come in a two pack for only $2.98, really good deal. So what I got, like to do is remove that screw, that dowel screw in the middle, and all you have to do is hold it with pliers and then unscrew it from the base and sit that to the side. Don't toss that, this comes in handy for other projects as well. So now that we have our finial with our flat surface, all we're gonna do is adhere it to the top of our decorative top piece. Now to do that just add a generous amount of wood glue and you want to sit that on top and allow it to completely dry. So here it is all nice and dry and it's ready to adhere to the top of our lantern once we get it assembled. 
So now what we're gonna do is work on our plant steaks. Now, if you can't find them at Dollar General, you can definitely find them at any garden center. So I'm gonna cut my plant steaks down to 28 inches long. This is my preference in height. And you wanna make sure you wanna cut off the end that has the pointy side. So I like to tape them together, take them out to my saw, and then make a straight cut across each one to make a 28 inch length for each one. And this just makes sure that they're all going to be absolutely even. So I'm removing all of the stickers from them and preparing them for our project. So go ahead and grab one of those planks and this will be the bottom and I'm just going to sit it up right and add one plank um, on one plank with two stakes. Now to adhere the stakes to that bottom plank, I am using my wood hot glue. Now keep in mind, this is only temporary. I just want to hold the stakes in place against that bottom plank while I screw some pilot holes in to hold screws. Now I'm taking a, a 7 64th inch drill bit and I'm going to drill through the bottom plank all the way into that stake in the corner. You want to do this for both of your corners. And now that you have your pilot holes in each one of the corners, we're gonna decide what kind of screws we want to use. So what I decided to use um, to hold my tall lantern in place is a number eight, three inch wood screw. This is a very long screw. It will give it plenty of stability to hold everything in place. So I'm just gonna start by hand threading it into that pilot hole and screw it all the way in until it goes through the bottom and into that side stake right there on the side. And we wanna repeat this for the other side until both of them are secure as shown here. So now that we've done one side, here is what the other end looks like. It's nice and open. And then we're just gonna flip this around and we're gonna repeat this for the other side, gluing the stakes on, drilling our pilot holes, and then we're going to add our screws to secure those as well. And here are all four sides with those stakes all secured into place. So now we're gonna flip it around and work on the other side. We're gonna take our other two layer plank and what we're going to do is we are going to glue it in place right on all four sides. We're going to drill our pilot holes and add our screws to this side the same way we did before. And now we have one solid square piece lantern with all of our screws in all four corners on both sides. So now we can add our topper decorative piece to the top. Now we just wanna make sure we find the center and we can use the block design to find the center really easily. And when you add this to the top, you definitely want to use some wood glue for this to make sure it will stay nice and in place with all of the weather. And here it is all in place. And I used some painter's tape just to hold it to make sure that it stays in place while it dries. And now that it's dry, here is what it looks like. The topper is nice and secure in place. Now, the only other thing I wanted to add as an accent is a little hook underneath the top. Now I'm using these little metal hooks that I had on hand. You could get these from Walmart. They come in an assortment of sizes and colors, but I'm just taking one of those little hooks. And what I wanna do is just screw it in right underneath the top of the lantern, right in the very center. You don't need to drill a pilot hole for these. These are kind of self drilling and they'll go in just with a twist of a hand really easy and here is what that hook will look like right in the center and now that that's done all we have to do now is to take it outside and give it a couple of coats of flat black spray paint or you can hand paint it if you like So now here is my lantern, all nice and spray painted. If you missed any spots, you can take it back out and touch it up, but here it is. All of the areas are nice and covered and our lantern looks awesome. 
So now what I'm doing is I'm taking one of those plant hangers uh, made with a string from a Dollar Tree. They have these over in the garden section and I wanted to use this in my lantern. So what I'm doing is I'm laying it straight out and I'm finding the very center because I wanted to divide it, divide it in half. So what I'm doing is taking it at that half point and I'm grabbing uh, one of the zip ties. You can get these from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm zip tying it right in the middle so I'll have two sections to hold plants in my lantern. So I'm just gonna tighten it up and then break off the end of that zip tie and now this piece is divided in half. Now what I decided to hang in mine are these little potted plants. Now I get these from Ikea. I believe they're only $4.99, really versatile. I love using these in my decor. So I'm just gonna take the bottom half of my planter holder and I'm going to insert one of those plants inside, making sure that the strings and the supports are evenly distributed. And then I'm gonna open up that top side and add the other little plant inside as well the same way. Now, once they're both in place, you can see you have this cute a double planter that is nice and hung with the little Dollar Tree hanger. And now we can add that to our lantern. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Go ahead and grab your lantern piece. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna take the ring at the very top of the planter and I'm just gonna push the greenery inside, make sure it hangs nice and even inside that whole entire lantern. And now you can see you have the hook using it as a double planter hanger, which is really cute. So now here is the tall lantern with those double plants displayed on the inside and I love how this looks. Now this tall lantern and plant holder turned out so great and it was super easy to make too. And these wood finials from Lowe's give this piece the perfect finishing touch and the black paint finish makes it look really high end. Now there are so many ways that you can display this piece and hanging plants inside is only one of the options. Now, if you prefer lighting, how about adding some fairy light strands from the Dollar Tree? Now, I just love using these lights and they give just enough sparkle for that evening front porch glow. Now, I've only add two strands, but you can add as many as you like for your decorative piece. Now, another option is to add a large band battery candle too. Now here, what I've done is I have added a double candle stand with a battery candle and it fit in there perfectly. Now I also added a plant on the hook too that is hung with a fishing line. Now I hope that this inspires you to create it as well. Now this project is a two tier barrel planter. We're gonna need two of these half barrel planters from the Dollar Tree. And we'll also need one plunger from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to need a couple pieces of these wood planks and these are from the Dollar Tree or you can use some small scraps of wood. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our plunger so go ahead and remove that rubber part and we're going to cut this down to size to be our support for our planter. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my ruler and I went with about a measurement of 11 inches that I wanted my center support. So I'm marking it off, cutting off that round end and then cutting down 11 inches. I've marked these here and then we also want to remove that sticker in the middle. So we're going to sit that to the side and we're going to grab our wood planks as well. And what I'm going to do with these wood planks is I'm just going to measure and divide these in half. Now I believe the half point of these is about seven inches, maybe a little short of that, but I'm just gonna divide them in half for now because I want to end up be having four squares in the very end. 
Now the corners will have to be um, trimmed down. So what I'm doing is taking the bottom of our barrel piece and I want the square to fit inside of that indented circle. So what I'm doing is laying that square on top of that circle and I'm taking my pencil and I'm making a mark where I wanna cut off those corners so it'll fit inside that circle and the bottom will be flush. So here's what it looks like. I'll call it my stop sign cut for now, but this is what it would look like for all four pieces of your squares when you cut them out. So after taking them to my saw, I cut my 11 inch piece from my toilet plunger handle. And these are just the two extras that are left over. And here is my little stop sign piece. Once I cut those squares, I taped them together and then I trimmed off those corners too. And here's what they look like. So now I'm gonna take everything out and give it a couple of coats of flat black spray paint. Now here are all of my pieces, all nice and spray painted and dry, and they are ready to go to start assembling our project. So we're gonna grab our half barrels first, and then we're gonna remove all of the stickers on the bottom. And what we wanna do is start off by drilling a hole in the very center of the bottom of our plant barrels. Now, before we do that, we're just gonna go ahead and tape our little stop sign squares together because we're gonna drill a hole down the center of these as well. And we wanna make sure that hole is equal on each piece and taping them helps them um, stay in place. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by drilling a hole in the bottom of the barrel. Now I'm going to be using my 764th inch drill bit and I wanna drill right down the center. Now keep in mind, if you plan to put real plants in this, this will be a good time to drill some extra holes in the bottom for drainage for your real plants. Now you definitely wanna drill a hole in both of these and this will help to feed our rod through both of the bottoms of our barrel pieces. So now what I'm doing is taking that stack of my little stop sign wood pieces, keeping it right in the center there, flipping it over where the barrel sits on top and that way that hole will be centered and drill straight back through the bottom of the barrel through the hole we just drew and through that stack of wood pieces. And now you'll notice that hole is right in the center. You can go back through there a couple times just to make sure it goes through the entire stack. But now that will be centered right in the middle of the hole at the bottom of the barrel. Now we're gonna take our support rod and we definitely want to drill a pilot hole through this as well because we do not want it splitting when we attach it to our support. So I'm taking my Sharpie and I'm putting a dot in the very center of each side so I'll know where to start drilling for my pilot hole. And then I'm gonna take that same drill bit and I'm going to drill straight down the center of that dowel rod all the way down at least the three inches. Now to secure my support to my barrels, I'm definitely going with a long screw. So I am using some number eight, three inch wood screws for this project. So now we're gonna start assembling everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna grab two of those stop sign pieces. Now, the purpose of these is to give additional support and I'm going to be attaching these to the barrel with some E6000 first. So I'm putting some E6000 on the bottom of the barrel around where that screw hole is, just not covering it up, but putting it around there. And then I'm following up with a little bit of some wood hot glue right on top for that instant grab. Now once you add some of that hot glue on there, you're gonna take one of your little stop sign wood pieces. I'm gonna stick a, a little skewer through it so I can line up the holes on the bottom of the barrel with the hole in my stop sign piece. And then once they're lined up, press it down and secure it. And then you can just remove your skewer because your holes are nice and lined up. Now here's everything in place. You wanna flip it over and you're gonna do the same exact thing to the inside, adding a little bit of your strong adhesive and your glue. 
And um, once you add that on there, we're just gonna add that right on the inside using that skewer method the same way. Now adding these wood pieces on the top and the bottom sandwiches the barrel piece in between and gives it a significant amount more of stability. That way it's not just supported by the plastic of the barrel, it's also supported with wood on both sides. Now we're gonna repeat this process for your other barrel. And now you have wood on the inside and the outside to support our barrel um, stand. So now we're gonna select the piece that we want for the bottom of our planter stand. So what we're gonna do is flip it over and we're gonna start to insert our screw through the bottom of our barrel and what you want to do is you just want to start screwing it in until it has about a half an inch poking through the other side now once it pokes through about a half an inch this is where you'll take your support rod and what you'll do is you'll line up the end of that screw with your pilot hole and you just want to start twisting it over that screw in place just to kind of get it going and then once you're able to hold it by that rod just go ahead and screw that three inch screw all the way through the barrel into that rod and now you can see that that screw is nice and flush and the rod is nice and secured in the center of your barrel So now we're going to work on the top side of the barrel and as you can see all you have to do is attach it to the top of the rod. So what I'm going to do is take that top barrel that we'll be putting on top and this time you're going to add your screw from the inside of the barrel. Now we do want to screw this down in until about a half an inch is poking through the other side. And then once you have that bit poking out, you're going to line up that screw with a pilot hole at the top of your rod. You're just going to put it right in there and then you want to twist it on until you get it going and it's nice and secure. And then you can take your drill and drill the rest of that screw all the way down until it's nice and flush on the inside. And here is the two piece half barrel stand. Everything is really super secure thanks to those wood planks. And now all you have to do is decorate. And here it is you guys, such a super easy but awesome piece to decorate with. I've placed some faux eucalyptus bundles on there from Walmart inside and I love how cute this made it look. Now these would be amazing with flowers or even real plants too. Just remember, you have to drain those drill holes into the bottom of your barrels. Now I do bet these would look awesome with some long vine greenery too. And here is a version with some Ikea greenery too for a different look. I mean, there's so many options. Now you guys, I really had fun creating these front porch decor ideas for you all today and I hope that they have inspired you. Now as always, I think both of these will look amazing indoor or outdoor pieces, but you all have to let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite today. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, if you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. It's absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.